yo, Kepe Sky here, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today I want to tackle probably the biggest car audio topic. It's Sundown versus Scar Audio. Which one's better? Did Scar copy Sundown? What's going on with that? So this is something that I hear all the time because I am a Scar VXF 12 owner. I have two of them that I've been using for about six or seven months now. And in the comment section, I always hear Sundown is better, Scar sucks, Scar's the best, is Scar a copy paste of Sundown? So we're gonna briefly and quickly answer that question. And it's not from my mouth, it's from um, Sundown Audio. I had the, the pleasure of going down to North Carolina about a week or two ago and hanging out with the Sundown team at the warehouse. And they took me through a whole tour. We talked about Scar versus Sundown versus DC versus B2 Audio. All of this, all of that conversation happened and I recorded it. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll leave a link in the description of the warehouse tour and I'll leave a link to the description in the description of the podcast that Sundown does that I was in talking about all this stuff. So let's get right into it. Which one is better, Scar or Sundown? Well, let's say, let's start with this. At one point, there was not SCAR audio, it was just Sundown, and we had, they had a great team, and things were going well, and sales were booming, and subwoofers were sounding great, and then one gentleman decided that he wanted to take it in his own hands, he wanted to ranch out and do his own thing, so he created SCAR audio. Now, of course, when you have somebody who leaves your facility to open his own, he's gonna take the tricks and tips that he's learned from one company and carry it over to his own and then put his spin on it. That's pretty much how SCAR got created. So it was an undercut to the company. So SCAR literally is a copy paste of Sundown. Now this could be good and could be bad. The good is that SCAR sells their subs typically a lot less than everybody else, including Sundown Audio. And then the bad is for Sundown Audio themselves, they have pretty much a guy who's cloning everything that they make. But with that being said, that doesn't mean that SCAR Audio is better, and we'll talk about that. But basically, SCAR Audio is a copy-paste of what Sundown has done. I don't know how much it, it's a copy-paste nowadays, but back when this all came to be, SCAR was pretty much a copy-paste, um, down to the terminals, down to the tinsel leads, down to the surrounds, to the power ratings, all that stuff. What does this mean to the consumer like myself? Well, I've been able to own two SCAR 12s, the VXFs, and I absolutely think they are amazing. They slam, they dig super deep, they play really loud, and they're very inexpensive for what you get. Um, and I've loved them for the last few months now. I'm actually going to get rid of them and go to the Sundown 15 that they gave me. This is the Sundown X15 version three that's not released yet, that we're getting a box made about a week away from being done. So we're gonna get this in a box. But anyway, um, I've owned the VXFs for about six, seven months now, and I've pounded them with 3000 watts, and they take it, and they're loud, and they sound amazing. But I don't think that SCAR is better than Sundown. And the reason being is a couple reasons. One, it's gonna be the SCAR audio lineup, meaning the type of subs they sell. There's not a whole lot of options on SCAR. There's a lot of budget options, like the DDX or the SDRs or the EVLs. They sound amazing for what you pay for. Um, the build quality is pretty good too, as well but there's not a lot of options for the guys who really want the, the meat and bones of bass, some really good, loud bass. These do get loud for most people. I, I've reached almost 145 dB in my box, tuned at 30 hertz in my Honda Accord, and I'm, I'm happy with that. But if you really wanna step up and go louder, there's not a lot. You, I know you have the, what is it, the ZVX? I think it's the, I think that's what it is. Um, they're, they're 1500 watt. Um, beastly subwoofer that's a little bit beefier than the VXF, same power handling, but it's made for SBL and not sound quality. You can go up to that and get some good SBL numbers, but if you really want like competition grade stuff, you're not, you're not really seeing a lot of SCAR. You're seeing a lot more sundown. So these are made to really get loud and sound good and they're built solidly. So you get all those three things in a package and from sundown, you get a lot more options to choose from. They have the X series, they have the U series, they have the SA series. Um, they have the Neo series. They have so much to choose from to mix and match for your purpose and for your vehicle and for your box specifications. There's not a lot that you can do from SCAR as of yet. 
Um, so that's why I like Sundown a lot more. It caters more to the customer. Speaking of catering to the customer, a lot of people in my comment sections when I make SCAR audio videos tell me that they've had terrible times with the customer service at SCAR. Me personally, when I've called them for my issues, I have not. They've been quick to response and they've helped me immediately. Um, so I've had good experiences, but I heard from other guys that they're not that great with customer service. So I'll leave that to, it is what it is. But I know for a fact that Sundown is amazing with customer service and they really care about their customer. When I went to Sundown Audio to hang out with them, he let me know a little secret, which you may not know. Sundown Audio is pretty much a family owned and operated company. I met somebody's mom there who had a son there. I think somebody's cousin was there and then maybe a neighbor. So everybody knew that knew each other or they, they were family before Sundown was ever made. And so that means a lot to the customer. When you have a family owned and operated um, organization, they cater so much better to the, the consumer, to the customer, um, because they are customers themselves and they're not being watched by big eyes, a big corporate eye. They handle their own business and treat customers the way they want it to be treated. Not that corporate ran companies can't do that, but typically corporates, corporate ran companies have um, this big eye watching them saying, hey, you have to sell this many subs at this time frame. You need to do this, do this, sell this many amps, blah, blah, blah. So they're under a strict um, rule set. And so sometimes they'll undercut you just to make a profit, just to make a sale. I can't say, I'm not saying that about Scar. And I'm definitely not saying that about Sundown. I know for a fact that Sundown does not do this um, because everybody in there cares about the customer. I had a chance to listen to um, some of the guys go through customer service and it was it was great. I, <laughs> it was a great service and I wasn't the person they were talking to of course but I've heard them talk to other customers while I was there and they treat their customers fantastically and they really care about their customers and you can see that in the warehouse video that I made. So Sundown overall is just a better company to me because if they weren't, why would you copy what they do? You know what I'm saying? Scar is great and it's a bang for your buck. Um, the, the reason why Scar sells really, really well is because the price point that they put all their speakers, it's going to be less than Sundown every single time. Um, but again, it's a copy paste of Sundown. So if you ha have you heard the saying, um, the student never can't beat the teacher or something like that. You get the point where the students always, the teacher's always gonna be the best because it's the teacher. You can't be as good as the teacher. You can only be right here with the teacher, but you can't ever beat the teacher because you're only gonna be able to do what you what that person taught you. So what I mean is Scar's only gonna, only gonna be as good as Sundown, but not better um, because they're just, copy and pasting everything that Sundown does instead of making their own innovation and taking it up a notch. Um, and with that being said, because it is a copy paste, the only way you can beat Sundown is to lower your price point. And that's what SCAR does. So you can actually get a really solid sub, like the VXS for instance, at a lower price. And that's super hard to beat. Customers want to know that they're getting a bang for their buck. They're getting a good deal. That they can, they wanna get the most they can without spending the most that they uh, that they can, if that makes any sense. They don't want to spend a lot of money to get where they want to get to. Scar Audio is like a budget kind of sub where you can get a lot and spend a little. So that is what it is. But for me, I think Sundown is better because of the way that they're ran. They're independent. They care about their customers. Their people are great there. Um, a lot of the stuff is American made or at least built here in America. Um, so it's it's awesome. It's great and the people are great and I just appreciate everything that I learned from Sundown with my time there. So with that being said, I still love SCAR Audio. I don't think they deserve the hate that they get. I don't think that's justified anymore. Um, it is what it is. It's a competitive market, so you gotta do what you gotta do to stay afloat. And that's what SCAR chose to do. I think these things sound amazing. I think they've been the best sub that I've ever owned. Um, and they slam, and I think you should get SCAR Audio if you're looking for a, a big bang for your buck. If you wanna go elite, and you wanna make a huge build, and you wanna go crazy in your car, or your SUV, this is the way to look, or DC Audio, or Orion, or B2 Audio, something like that. So, with that being said, I think Sundown's better than SCAR. I think most people do too, but I don't think SCAR deserves the hate that they get anymore. I don't think they deserve it. I think SCAR makes incredible subs and you get an incredible price for it and they're gonna bang. So that's what you want. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Just kinda wanted to break down the whole Sundown versus SCAR. I think you can't go wrong with both. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Which one's better, Sundown 
Scar Audio. Leave me that comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace.